Welcome to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope, the Facebook page on YouTube. So a wee while ago, I posted a picture on the Facebook page just to say thanks very much for all the, those people that subscribe and all those lucky people that subscribe and don't watch the videos. Uh, you're smart. Um, so I told you I would give you a wee shout out on the page if you had any comments or questions. Lucky for me, weren't many questions. So, um, first guy to write in, and I apologise if I don't say the names correctly, is uh, Dedel Guimares Camelo. Camelo. Uh, Dedel Guimares Camelo. That's actually a cool sounding name. Camelo. I'm just basically asking for the, the channel link, so I gave him the channel link. So, hopefully, I'll get more response from him. Uh, a minute, one more reply. Uh, oh, no. Right, okay. Um, who, is, who else here? Teresa Titswell. Oh my God, what a man. Thank you. But I know that's not directed to me. It's directed to the image of Henry Cavill, probably. Uh, let's chat. See me on YouTube. And you got a wee like for that. Henry F Flores puts a picture up of uh, El Diablo saying it's lit. Oh, it's lit. Is that the YouTube channel or oh, it's passion for Man of Steel? Who knows? Uh, Joel uh, Feliz mm -hmm. Joel Felizano Romero Felizano Watched Man of Steel today. I loved it. Yes. Is that your first time, I wonder? Well, as I say, these films will slowly catch round and they'll, they'll catch on. Uh, Peter Peter Landman, Man of Steel, a number one. Yep. Alexandra, Alexandra Perani. Wow, that's amazing. I wonder what she means by then. And uh, probably just the picture. Uh, Paul Eagles, yep. Great picture. Well, thanks again for, for commenting uh, on the YouTube channel. So, what's the latest today? Um, Patty Jenkins came out. You know, there's a deal going on. It's hitting the web, it's hitting the YouTube and whatnot. It's official. Uh, she's... They're closing the, the deal on Wonder Woman 2. And let's be honest, she was she was going to do Wonder Woman 2. Now, it was, um, I think the film... Well, see, the thing is, Warner Brothers, probably... I think film studios are still trying to get in touch with the audience. And I think especially for DC films or any comic movies, the studios have to make a bond with the audience and they listened with the the trailers we've got the the new justice league trailer coming out and people are saying don't want to watch it and rightfully so you know that they've they've seen one and um it's got them hyped so you don't really need to see any more why would you want to see any more of the film you just need to wait and um so the other thing is, um, but as I say, Patty Jenkins, she's coming out and she's um, she's going to get loads of money for it. She, she is, and the, there's talk about the Cold War, and uh, it's taking place in the eighties, which I think is pretty cool, and uh, and I think the soundtrack will be pretty cool. And of course, there's going to be so many people. That will, that will say it's, or using the music is a wee bit like um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. And to be honest, I don't think it is. I watched Star Trek, the, um, the latest one, the latest movie. And one of my favourite moments in that is when the, the spaceship Enterprise is, you know, they hit play on the records, on the, the tape deck or whatever, and this sort of rock music comes out and I sometimes sit here and when I'm playing Man of Steel or uh, what 
watch in Man of Steel. Um, I've got the the CD player on. I've got the CD player on, and I'm listening to, you know, like holding out for a hero and stuff. So I I I think holding out for a hero, especially when he's coming down and he's and he's saving the airplane. I think that music works better for that. Um, so no, I don't, I don't, I think mixing good classic 80s songs is a lot better. And, and of course it's Cold, Cold War, and this is, this is probably a highlight of what could be happening to the Batman film as well. The Batman film, okay, now they've got the Wonder Woman film, and that's, that's taking place in the 80s. So, the Batman film is meant to be when he's, you know, maybe years before, so it's not going on the timeline. So, I don't know where all this news is about Ben Affleck not being Batman in it. You know, he's already looking younger than he is. Makeup can do a hell of a lot, so I can't see him not being Batman in these films, and it's just set years before. There is going to be confusion, I grant you, there's, but could this all just be clickbait news? that is out there. Could this just be, you know, when we talk about the Joker's origins? Uh, maybe most of this news that's coming out is just fake news. And we just got to start just appreciating the ones that are official. Uh, so Justice League now is just close to being a, a month away. And, and people are sometimes are, they're talking about oh there's not much marketing on for the film again you know and and uh, this talks about as I said in my previous video uh, you know Ragnarok is somehow leading its way that's because that's coming out first there is going to be and after two weeks of Ragnarok you're going to have the Justice League now, my beef, my wee problem with that is that not everyone can afford to go to the cinema, you know, uh, twice in one month or, or that close together because you've got families, you've got ties, and, and you need to choose one. For me, it's DC. I can leave Marvel till years later. I haven't even seen Civil War yet. Um, I just listen to people that I trust. Um, who have seen it, uh, or who have seen these films before me, and, and they know what I what I would like. Um, but I would again, I will watch it when it becomes free on Netflix or something. Uh, haven't seen Doctor Strange, so for me, it's it's DC. It's my passion. It's my joy since childhood seeing these heroes up on the screen. Um, so I like to think that there are a lot more people out there that are fans of these heroes, despite what they may have had thoughts about with the previous films, that this is the Justice League. In our lifetime, we need to go and see this on the big screen. Stop mourning about who's directing it. Stop mourning about, you know, the characters you're seeing or whatever or how they're being portrayed. Just go there and enjoy the film for what it is. And it's what it is, is your favourite heroes all on the one screen fighting one of the major bad guys. So, thanks again. And as I say, if you haven't checked my Facebook page, check it out. Um, if you want your questions or your comments or your name mentioned on the YouTube, let us know on the page, send a message to YouTube, send a mes message to the Facebook page, any comments, questions, and, and I'll answer them uh, again. I have, I know just as much probably as you guys do. These are just my opinions. So if you want to hear my opinions, send us in your messages. Thanks, and thank you very much for helping me uh, feel good about what I'm doing on YouTube and on the page. Thanks very much. And thank you for helping me stay positive for the DCEU.